did it go in the um, It went fine. You know? um, we knew that her father was leaving today, and um, you know, it's a little, it was a little more emotional for me than I thought it would be. But um, we're fine. Um, this is a house that, at least the foundation that my dad built, and it's hard for him to leave home <laughs> in a way. But there were a lot of other people who helped build this. So he's not leaving northeastern Ohio. He's, he's staying around here. Where will he go now? Um, you know, that's an interesting question. I think probably back to the hotel with us for the night. And then after that, we'll probably take him um, uh, to a local cemetery. And, and until we decide what we're going to do. But we sort of would like to leave this up to the people of Northeastern Ohio. He has a lot of fans here. This is the city where he lived. This is the city where he uh, was able to create and, uh, a career for himself as a disc jockey and popularize uh, a new form of rhythm and blues and create a new, I guess, a new genre of music. You know, rock and roll could have been created, it could have been born in just about any city in America, maybe even in Europe, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen in New York, it didn't happen in Los Angeles, it didn't happen in Atlanta, it happened here in Cleveland. And it says a lot about the fans. Uh, is, uh, in the 1950s, after the move on Coronation Ball, my dad asked, the fans, when he was being fired from WJW at the time, <laughs> to please let them let the station know uh, he apologized for what happened, of course, and let the station know if, if uh, the Moon Doggers out there in the Moon Dog Kingdom were for him and if they were to call in. I think at this point, um, his spirit, his memory, and most of all, his. The accomplishments that he had were largely a result not only of his own talent, but the people who supported him and who, uh, that, that was very important to him, his fans and the music, they were, they were inseparable. So I think um, he's not leaving Northeastern Ohio, and I'd like to leave it up to the people of Cleveland and Northeastern Ohio to, to let us know where they'd like him to be. Lance, on Saturday you told me that you were disappointed about this decision. After meeting with The Rock, how, how do you feel? I'm still disappointed, uh, more than disappointed. I don't feel it's appropriate, but I don't run the place. I don't, it's not my place to run. Um, we went back and forth on this idea of why are we leaving? Why, after 12 years, we felt that this was going to be his final resting place. And, an appropriate one in a house that he helped build. Uh, unfortunately, um, the Rock Hall sees it differently. Uh, what we want to do is try to make the best of a bad situation. I think that's a line from a song somewhere. But um, So what we want to do is be positive, recognize the fact that we've left, and uh, my father's leaving with us. And he's not leaving Northeastern Ohio. He's going to be here. So what's more important, I think, is the fact that he's going to be around and be available for people to come visit uh, if they want to and uh, honor his memory. Or uh, you know, a lot of people do have positive memories because it's about the music. And this is rock and roll. This isn't. Um, this isn't uh, a bunch of paintings. Uh, Egyptian uh, artifacts that are traveling from museum to museum. This is an evolving music form, and, and uh, hopefully it'll continue to evolve. It's taken some left turns and some right turns. Uh, some people agree with the way it goes, and some people don't. As far as I'm concerned, uh, the foundation is here. What? No, on Twitter, people are asking why, why this is, why it happened. Did you ever get a, a straight answer from the Rock Hall? And also, was your family involved in making that decision with your dad leaving? We weren't involved with making the decision. We were asked to leave. So, 
we didn't really have a choice. We had a discussion about it, um, but we disagreed. The first part of your question was what? Well, Sorry. After meeting with the Rock Hall, I know you've been talking to them for a couple of months, have you ever gotten a straight answer on why they wanted to give back your dad's ashes? No, the only, the only answer I got when I questioned why was uh, the director said, people walk past this urn that's in this uh, in his exhibit and they, they scratch their heads and they can't quite figure out what it is. I think most people do, um, but I, I, frankly, I've been here several times, I've never seen people scratching their heads, but you, that was the answer I got. Do you think there is still uh, an ample, uh, there's a large, you know, obviously the room is filled with displays in his honor, do you think that that is sufficient? I understand it's going to be distilled, um, that the uh, exhibit that now exists on the, on the uh, second floor is going to be distilled and he's going to be moved to the ground floor uh, into the Ahmed Erdogan uh, exhibition area and there's going to be some sort of chronological walk through or walk about through the chronological history of rock and roll. I have no idea how many exhibits will be there but I imagine you start at the beginning and you go to the end there's going to be quite a few exhibits. Your dad was never a man who had a loss for words. What do you think he would say? if he was here today about all this? Um, well, fellas, this isn't the first place I've been thrown out of, and it's the first time I've ever been thrown out of my own house.